Greg Stoller, and I appreciate the opportunity to be presenting my Better World project as part of NSLS. I am also very fortunate to be in my 24th consecutive year teaching at the Boston University Questrom School of Business, and I'm currently uh, two semesters into a part-time doctoral program where my dissertation is going to be focused on why certain case competition teams succeed while others do not. And amongst the 24 years teaching, I've been active for 17 of those years with case competitions where teams of students either locally are going to be competing internally against other BU students or colleges and universities within the Boston area, regionally throughout New England or maybe the Northeast, and nationally or internationally as we compete against other schools literally across the world, uh, etc. As it relates to NSLS, my topic is going to be mentorship strategies for winning case competition teams, but I'm also adding while ethically improving student leadership in the process. Let me give you a little bit of background. I've been active, as I mentioned a few moments ago, with case competition teams for 17 years, and really most of our record keeping has focused around rank how those individuals and teams have fared against other universities, the number of teams they were competing with, whether we won any awards, etc. And again, this data has been helpful, uh, especially anecdotally, in terms of running better programs and better preparing our teams to compete. However, over the past four months, I have engaged as part of my doctoral work in a more methodical process. As you see from the slide in the fall of 2023, again, this is all with IRB Institutional Review Board approval. I completed five informant interviews with students whose teams did particularly well or poorly in case competitions. Then once again with approval, I wrote a 60 question survey and we experimented by doing uh, what we call a mini approach where we interviewed 15 students from two other Boston area schools. Uh, this past week, I'm actually have completed the next phase of this where we, again, with IRB approval, increased this to 100 students and received a nearly 60% response rate in order to make sure that the 15 people we initially interviewed weren't uh, necessarily an incorrect sample size or having data that was skewed, uh, etc. Let me talk to you about the process. I have developed a problem statement, a research purpose, questions to look at, different themes and different discussions, etc. And let me go through each of these uh, piece by piece. The problem statement is how do we make sure that teams can get the most effective mentorship and coaching uh, as they prepare to compete against other schools? The purpose of this is to really look at this from a qualitative and quantitative perspective. What gives these students confidence? What gives these students that uh, esprit de corps where they're really enjoying their time on campus? How about the je ne sais quoi of that really extra little oomph that provides them with confidence and ultimately prepares them to be effective leaders in the future? In terms of research questions, I am trying to figure out the reason why teams are successful and not successful. Is it possibly the quality of the mentor? Is it possibly that we are forming the teams for the students versus the teams forming on their own? Is it the amount of time that students are preparing? Or is it instead the amount of time that students prepare analyzing this information, then writing their slides, uh, et cetera? Or perhaps the answer lies in effective Q&A. We looked at a number of different themes in terms of the qualitative portion of this project. We also had sub-themes as well. Some of these ranged from mentorship strategy to the importance of teamwork to ultimately building self-confidence uh, and effectively preparing, analyzing, and delivering data. And as you will see on the slides that follow, we took a very quantitative approach to this to make sure that the data was intact. These were our preliminary findings. There is a 59.34% R-squared correlation between the amount of mentor hours and effort teams made 
in terms of directly affecting their competition rank. So that probably in and of itself is not that surprising. The harder you work and the more guidance you get, the better you'll do. But what was equally surprising, and again, remember this was multiple universities. This didn't just include a sample of Boston University students or Boston University undergraduate students. We went undergrad, we went grad. What was equally surprising were the variables that had no effect. Gender had no real effect in terms of competition rank. Years of work experience had no real effect on competition rank. Whether the teams were pre-formed or formed by us ultimately didn't really have an effect provided the team had a healthy complement of different skill sets, etc. Finally, I completed a word cloud analysis that was more of an open answer question, uh, and that indicated really what the students got out of the experience, etc. And not surprisingly, the number one and number two areas that they talked about the most was increasing self-confidence and increasing teamwork. And as I mentioned a few moments ago, we segregated this by male and female data, and those results were quite similar, uh, etc. In terms of next steps, I have a long way to go before I complete my dissertation and ultimately graduate, but I believe that the next step is going to be combining qualitative and quantitative analyses. I've spent a lot of time over the past two semesters writing about this qualitatively. The quantitative piece has been the first step in terms of the numbers. Uh, as I move forward with my coursework, I'm trying to get some of this work published, as well as focusing on the different methods, study limitations, uh, and other areas that need to be focused on uh, in the future. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. You can reach me through NSLS or through my Boston University email address. Once again, thank you for the opportunity to uh, pre present to you today. I've really appreciated these two additional courses that I've taken and look forward to continuing to add value with our students as we develop mentorship strategies for winning case competition teams while ethically improving student leadership in the process. Thank you.